Hello and welcome to another quick demonstration of the ArcSight ESM real-time monitoring solution from HPE. Um, in this particular uh, video, I'm actually going to walk through uh, just a little bit more discussion around what we're actually doing with the integration. And this is a, a demonstration scenario of our integration with the Hexadite Airs automation and remediation platform. Uh, there is a demonstration uh, that I've done with regards to this and that walks through the scenarios and so on. Uh, and in this particular example, I'm actually going to dig into the content that's used as part of this integration to explain what we do and how we do it. And the important thing here is I want to get across a number of things. Uh, number one, I want to get across that it's actually relatively simple and straightforward to do. And number two, that you don't need to do API-based integration with these kind of systems. Uh, the integration that we actually have is very, very strong and very, very good uh, for how we want to do things with regards to uh, just having case management and updating things accordingly. So just a quick run through what we've got here, just to illustrate a few things. In this case, we've, we're actually showing the case status uh, of what we've got, some standard dashboards. These are dashboards that come within the product itself. Uh, we can see that there's average time to close, uh, time by case resolution. Uh, in fact, actually, we can look down here, we can see the average time to close by resolution is about eight minutes. So we can actually show that we're doing that uh, and, and having an automation mechanism that's running within eight minutes accordingly. If we go back to our change status, so here we can see the overall status of the systems. We can see there's some queued and the impacts and uh, what's actually the associated impact, what's actually the associated impact here, uh, and overall, consequence and severity. Um, and then we can actually show the case stages so we can see uh, who's done things, who's added and so on. It, this is a demonstration system. So we clearly we can we can see that what we're actually got is here is a, a number of very similar cases that have been opened and closed. Uh, but I just wanted to illustrate these are the standard dashboards that come within the solution. We can track all of this. We can understand what's going on. We can track the status of the, the cases what's open, what's closed, who did what, when they did, how long did it take to do that. All this is built in as standard to the ESM solution as, as, as part of the content that comes within it. Everything that you do with a case generates an audit uh, message that we can then track and understand what's going on. There is no APIs needed. There is no scripting required. There's no coding required. It's actually built in. So let's go and look at what we have with regards to the uh, Hexadite integration from the demonstration I did earlier. So we can actually see here, we have a case here and it talks about this FireEye aggregated alert and so on. Well, what's actually driving this? Well, what we're doing is we're seeing a number of uh, events being triggered by, in this particular case, uh, it's some FireEye events that give us an understanding of what's actually occurring. So let's dig into to what we see here. So in this particular case, it's been triggered by this FireEye aggregated alert um, correlation here. And if we just dig into that, we can actually look at the conditions that are seen, and it's very simple. Of course, we wouldn't have this in a real production environment because we can see a device vendor just fire eye. I mean, that's not going to work. But from a demonstration point of view, we can see what's what's going on here. The important thing is, is what actually is, is happening. So we can see the actions. So what are we doing? So what's actually happening here is it's creating a case. It's putting that case into a particular group. It's giving a, an associated owner. So in this particular case, we're associating it with this, this forwarding connector. This is just for a demonstration point of view, but you would associate it with a particular owner of that. And then we'd give it some description. The important thing here to note is the case name. It's defined to have the name of the event that's generating it, so the FireEye aggregated alert, and then it'll be an associated event ID. So the uh, uh, actual triggering aspect, the event that's being created for the correlation, it will actually add that in as the event ID. So we can see that from the case, which we'll jump and have a look at in a second. And then we also want to send a notification as well, saying a new AIRS case has been opened, the name, the event ID, and so on. And we're, in this case, we're going to send it to the security operations team. If I just take a look at the notifications, we can see there's a number of notifications that have been triggered here, uh, and we can see that uh, the, the relevant data to that. So we can see one's opened and then one's closed. We trigger a notification accordingly, and it's been sent to the security operations team. If I go back to my cases, just briefly, just to show this, we actually see that we can see there's two cases here, and that's the event ID. That's the unique reference number that's been associated with that. So I'll come back to that in a minute with regards to what's actually occurring with that. So we're creating the case, uh, and uh, in this particular example, we're actually attaching, uh, so let me just open that particular case. Uh, we can see the events that have been triggered here as well. We can see the relevant events here, so there's the aggregated alert with all the FireEye base events in it that's stored, which is great. 
but there's a whole load of other events in here. What's all this mean? So what actually we're doing is we're forwarding this data. So we're using a forwarding connector that's forwarding the data to the Hexadite solution so we can see what's going on. Right, now, what does that look like? Well, let, let me take a look at the actual events here. So we jump into the Hexadite solution, into the dashboard. And we look at the, uh, the associated event. So we can see there's a whole section here with regards to what's going on. And this is the Hexadite side of things. What's actually been received is an alerts come in. And that actually shows from the uh, ArcSight ESM. So we actually just look at that in a bit more detail. We can see that this being forwarded, the Ceph event from ArcSight, it's a rule trigger. That's our name of our event, remember? Remember it had the case ID in there as well. Uh, this is a different one, but we, you know, the case ID is in there. We can see the IP addresses. We can see uh, some further detail. Now, in this scenario, we're not looking at any other information here. We're just looking for the base information, which is the uh, IP addresses and what the actual alert is. But it shows that we're getting that reference ID. So when we go ahead and do our investigation, we, we do our two workstations, we do all the processor with a dissolvable probe, and we check out the services and drivers and everything else that's going on. In this case, we've found some threats and we've remediated those. But at each step, the fire uh, the hexadite solution. But at each step, the hexadite solution is actually sending back reference material with regards to what's actually happening back to ESM. So that's actually what's getting sent back. So if we jump into the ArcSight console for a second, that's what's actually occurring here. So we're actually getting the inf information coming back from he Exodite that's saying start investigation, end, end point investigation number one, end point investigation number two, uh, remediate, and then finally fully remediated endpoints. So what does that look like? How do we track that as well? And how can we put that information back into the case? Well, it's actually a lot easier than it, it, you might think it might be. So we've got a bunch of rules. Remember, I mentioned a minute ago with regards to everything within a, the case management system is actually based on audit events and information. So we're seeing data coming back in. We're seeing information. We're seeing events coming back in from, from the hexadite. So we can actually see these rules. So if I actually just dig into this rule, you'll notice that uh, in this particular example, uh, it's actually spent, spelt incorrectly. I do apologize for that. That was just the way it was written. Uh, we will fix that, obviously. But uh, that just indicates that we're looking for a particular bit of information. Just a little hint here, because we're looking for a filter. We're looking for a hexadite ended investigation event here. Uh, a little bit of hint here. If you click the summary tab, you can actually see it described in, in common English and in Boolean English. So we can actually just then click on that and it will actually take you to the filter that defines it. So it's actually really simple and really straightforward. So you know, don't, don't worry about that. It's very simple and, and straightforward to see that with regards to the information. So I'll just go back to the rule a second. And we can see that in this particular example, we want to look at the actions. So we can see it. what's actually happening here is we're looking at this event coming in. We're looking at the information that's in the event. So in this case, we're looking for device custom string 5. Uh, and we're also looking for device custom string 4. Why is that relevant? Well, we're looking for the name of the event and the corresponding event ID. What will then happen is it will automatically then, if it matches one of those particular cases, it will then update the relevant information. So in this case, this is um, to do with uh, ending the investigation. We can update it to closed and so on. So that's what we can do. We can update the information about the, the case. We can update the information about the stage and we can attach that information into the case as well. So that's all that's happening. We've got a number of uh, uh, rules here. They're looking for specific events coming from Hexadite. We're then attaching that information into the case, updating the case statuses and stages, as well as adding in that record, the actual event, into the case so we can understand what's going on. So if I just jump back to my cases for a second, I can see this particular case here. I can see the whole string of sequence of what's occurred. We've got the FireEye events that have triggered. We've got the start of investigation. We've got the endpoints. We've got the remediation. Then finally, we've got the, the final completed investigation as well. So suddenly we have the whole flow and ultimately in this particular example with the case, if I go back to my original attributes, we can show that it's closed.
And of course, all this is reflected in my dashboards and I can track this and understand it. I can see what's remediated, what my average times are, who did this, for example, whether it's a hexadite automation or whether it was a, an analyst within the system. So suddenly I have a very powerful mechanism to track, to trace, to audit, to report and to visualize what's going on with my remediation and an analyst investigation on these particular issues. That's just a very quick walk through the uh, content that we have with regards to this. It's a very simple configuration. As you can see, no scripting, no setup, some simple rules, just looking for events, uh, looking for some audit events as well. Uh, and then we're just having some simple actions against that, looking up, referring to the data and updating the cases. No scripting, no Python, no APIs, very simple and very straightforward. I just wanted to explain that just to illustrate how easy this is to integrate ArcSight ESM, real-time correlation platform, with an external system, in this case, using the case management environment. It's actually very simple and straightforward. I do appreciate your time for watching this, and thank you very much.